Hey, and this is Bev from Unlocking Litchfield. And this is Stephen from New York City, an artist and uh, a business person. And I'm with Jack Levy, who's an interior designer from New York City, who designed this lovely house. So guess what we're going to do now? We're going to walk around, check out our neighbor's home, because we have interesting neighbors in Litchfield County, and we want to see their homes. And their artwork and design, so here oh, we go. Let's do it. Go. Okay, so how did you guys meet? Uh, we met in New York City and we're partners for a long time and now we're partners in this house and in other ventures. Awesome. How long have you owned this home? I think it will be... About 10 years now. It will be 10 years wow. this Thanksgiving. Bought at Thanksgiving. Wow. And I remember we, we closed and he had to like, get on a plane two hours later. I was going to a birthday party in London because my birthday is on Halloween. Oh, nice! So it's his birthday <laughs> party, Birthdays and then I had to sort of like figure out, okay, now we have this big, old, empty, decrepit house. Uh oh. And how did you find it? <laughs> Either of you grew up around here? I grew up not too far away from here. I grew up in Newtown. Okay. And I'm always interested in real estate, and I found this house on the internet. In the olden <laughs> days, ten years ago, the house hadn't been touched probably in fifty years, at least. The realtor had a photograph of it in the fog, and I think they did it on purpose. <laughs> they photoshopped so the fog. <laughs> I think they called it foggy house. <laughs> yeah. This is a room. This is really the only addition to the house. There used to be a very small, dark room that they called a sun room with dark paneling <laughs> and three windows, and it was maybe half this size. Wow. So we're here in the library. Yeah, this is our library, which. There's no books. But I was like, I don't see many books. I <laughs> well, see there's, there's drinks. Some, okay. yeah, there's, there's some over here. Yeah. And this table is 1950s, 60s American. Philip and Calvin Laverne. Which is one of my favorite pieces. And what's really interesting about these pieces is the designers would make these tables out of metal and they would bury them in the earth for up to two years. So the oxidation and the color that you see comes from all the natural elements. No yeah. way. This is the beautiful dining room. And as with all our rooms, we have a mix of art and furniture, and it's American, it's Italian, it's Spanish. This happens to be a painting by Claude Bernard, who's a French artist from the 50s that Jack and I both enjoy. And Jack happened with his good fortune to find it on the roadside in Southampton. Thank you, Wine Fairy. Thank you. We're in the kitchen. Hey, cheers. cheers. We have cheers in the wine. <laughs> I think besides the library, this has been my favorite space and Steve's as well because I think in the city we never sort of have time, either one of us in different homes now, have the time to really cook. Mm -hmm. And who really cooks for one person? Right. So the great thing here has been, in the summers you have five people over for burgers and dogs, and I make a mean savory potato salad that is unreal, and fantastic tarragon chicken and, salad. Okay, and so Bev and I love potato salad. And well, burgers and dogs. So <laughs> we're just putting that out there. Okay. And, and, okay. and we made good ones. Yeah. <laughs> Steve is really a grill master for sure. Uh, so much great local produce and great yeah. organic meats, and you never run out of options. Great local cheeses. Yeah. And now there's that new distillery in Litchfield that just opened up. Have you been? I have not been, but I've had their gin, and I've had their whiskey. And <laughs> yeah, that. okay. So when we purchased this house, this was filled with 200 foot pine trees, which we got cleared out. Jack designed a small but intimate dining space and we've done many dinner parties here where you can actually fit 50 people. And yeah, we've actually had what? like 40 something people on... Are they small well, children? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Normal size adults. Oh, I mean, you know, it's interesting. Oh, like, you yeah. move the garage yeah. and you do a very narrow, long, long, long table yep. and you can get easy 35 if not more. On to the master bedroom. Tell us about your crab lamps. Is that what we'd call them? Yes, the crab lamps. Crab lamps. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought these crab lamps one day on East 58th Street. It was a great dealer. And uh, it's crazy about this room because there are two 
very large closets in a house built in 1935. And there's this sort of sitting area back here with the chaise where someone could read or relax. I think it gets more to use to like put your shoes on and throw your dirty clothes on when you're here for a quick weekend. I think, I think Steve should tell you about this. Um, that's a very early work that I did, it's a self-portrait that I did about 30 years ago. Wow. You've changed. I have changed. You look a little bit. Not too much work yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you tell us about this monogram? Sure. This, the road that we live on is called Bald Hill, and uh, with a sense of humor, we call the place Bald Hill. And we had the uh, Tal's monogram with BH for Bald Hill. I love it. And this is one of the smaller rooms. We use it as a child's room, a good place to take a nap if you've had too many rosés. And of course, again, another painting by Claude Bernard. It's comfortable and easy. <laughs> Who's your favorite artist? If you had to pick just one, would it be him? I think I'm my favorite artist because no one's doing more like I'm doing. Oh. And I agree. Okay. Well, so do I. You're my favorite artist. But, but if I had to make it, <laughs> if I had to make someone, maybe, maybe Joan Mitchell or Philip Gustin. Okay. And I also like Alexander Calder, who was a local to Roxbury here. Okay. So I paint fairly quickly, and I have a large series of work. I'm trying to slow down, but I feel like I have a lot to express. So, tell us, tell us yeah. when these were done. Uh, there's a range of work. This, again, as I mentioned, I used to use a lot of lines, so this is probably an earlier work. It's actually based on figures, mm -hmm. so I abstracted figures. And this is also an earlier work, and then I met with a gallery dealer and he said, well, I want to see what you can do without using any lines. So I said, okay, I'll see what I can do without using any lines, so then I started work more along this line where there's still some painted lines in there but I wanted to get rid of my use of black and mm -hmm. open the paintings up. Have you shown your work in Litchfield County? I have shown my work in Litchfield County. Which gallery? Um, I show them in Kent, I mm -hmm. show them in Litchfield, I show them in Bantam, mm -hmm. okay. and I've also shown in New York and Los Angeles and Madrid and London and sort of around the world. Wow. Okay, we're on to our rapid fire question segment. Are you ready? So you each have to answer the question as fast as you can. At the same time. No. Well, no. <laughs> Maybe you go first and then you go. No, he, he can go first. All right, he can you go, go first. first. Okay, what was the last game you played? Uh, backgammon. Uh, Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. 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 And the last great meal that you ate? Last night. Last night. Okay. We wish we were here yeah. last night. I know. What happened last night? Tell us. We can digress. You first. You first. No, uh, a friend of mine, Scott, is actually an excellent cook. And we use a lot of local produce and mm -hmm. he put together a fantastic meal. Okay. Um, okay. Last book you read? I'm reading a uh, James Patterson book right now. Okay. Uh, the Prince. Okay. You should ask that one because you're the okay. fitness buff. The last time you worked out. About two years ago and I've never been happier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew we could be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday morning for me. High five. <laughs> <laughs> this is We're going to stick together. <laughs> Alright. Cheers, Cheers to Litchfield. And go. <laughs> we okay. Okay. Wait. Stop. Are we going? Are you, are you even going? <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going. Okay.